Hey guys, this is SnackTech8. I did not have my microphone down, and we have played exactly one hour and one minute, it looks like, of Tales of Symphonia. This is part. part, uh, part I couldn't get my menu screen down. This is part three. We're gonna go back to Asalia because, as you may remember in the last time, um, this is. The whole, the whole Martel Colette being the chosen thing sort of de-escalated, for lack of I don't know a better word, and uh, now we're all kind of safe and comfy back in Isalia for the time being. Um, but, oh, Lloyd's thoughts on the angels. This was the skit inside the temple that I accidentally um, passed up, so we're going to view it now. Uh, angels really do have wings. Yep, just like the scriptures and other things that don't exist in this game, but yeah. Also, when they have to change your clothes. I've always wondered that too. But I feel like angels could just be like, ah! and like their clothes will turn into light, and then when it comes back on, they'll be clean. Or like they'll have a new outfit on or something. Apparently, Lloyd's been doing some thinking on the topic too. I couldn't read what he was saying because I was providing my own, um, just as witty commentary, but. Uh, you guys can, and that's all that matters. Um, plus the skits aren't voice acted anyway, so wah, I don't care. Uh, we have to go into Colette's house here to progress the plot. It looks like everyone's having a little powwow. We shall entrust the protection of the chosen to Kratos and Rain. Right, because this guy that we've known for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, is uh, now the most trustworthy person to uh, entrust the fate of the world to. I have no objections. And he has no objections. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Aw, no problem. Oh, you're back. Thank you for your assistance earlier. Please accept this small thanks. Anything for you, babe. Phydra, you hottie. I don't think she... Oh. I was gonna say, I don't think she actually gives us an item or something, but the collector's book is just kind of blown. Thank you. Thanks, Phydra. Yeah, Phydra. Say, were you talking you're about cool. the world regeneration journey just now? Yeah. Wow, I want to go too. I want to see Colette regenerate the world. I mean, who wouldn't? That sounds really if fun. Rain is going, I want to go too. Aw. No, you'll get in the way. You sound like a dad. What? The battles at the chapel were nothing compared to the journey that awaits us. Children need to stay home. <laughs> Kratos is absolutely right. This mayor is kind of a d-bag. I'm just gonna <laughs> let you guys know straight up. Now then, we still have things to discuss. You two should go on home. Please wait. Please hit. God. She falls down at that too. I'm sorry. It's not like it's your fault. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen. <sighs> Never mind. Oh yeah! Happy birthday, Colette! Oh yeah, I guess we did forget that it was Colette's birthday. Lloyd's like, shit, he forgot to. If I knew you'd be leaving tomorrow... And Genius Baked Cookies. I would've made something a little more special, but... No, no, I love your cookies. Thank you very much. So what about you, Lloyd? You promised to make her a necklace, right? Lloyd, run. Uh... <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot. I... Uh... It's it's almost done. Uh, I'll give it to you tomorrow before you leave. I swear. That's what they all say, Lloyd. Really? I'm so happy. As soon as I find out when we're leaving, I'll go to your house to let you know. Isn't it going to be dangerous? I'm the Chosen, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. See you later, I mean, then. That's a good way to look at it. Liar. Hmm. If I start on it now, I'll finish it in time. <laughs> Sort of the attitude I take to things, oftentimes as well. Oh really? Well, whatever. By the way, you're going home now, right? Can I go part of the way with you? Sure, but where are you going to go? I'm going to see a friend. Hmm. Huh? I didn't know you had friends outside <laughs> the village besides. Genius, me. I didn't know you had friends. <laughs> Does it matter? Anyway, can we swing by my house so I can get my stuff? Sure, sounds like a completely reasonable thing for us to do. Genius's house is very close. It is right over here. Um, I, I'm 
Did we even use any items? No, and we have a lot more now. Maybe I'll buy... Oh, let's watch the skit first. Kratos really pisses Lloyd off. I mean, he's kind of stealing his lady here. Just get in the way. He's not that strong. He, like, two of the spells he knows are techs you guys know, too. Ha ha ha. Everybody laugh at Lloyd. Um, we're gonna buy... Uh, maybe two more orange gels. Yeah, that looks good. Alrighty. Now let's go to Genus' house so we can get his stuff and we can be on our way. Ooh, do 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 do. Genus' house is right over here. I always think this is kind of a cool house. Like, there's this weird looking dog out front. It's I don't think that's his dog. And, but I like these like stairs here and like this overhang. Like, if I lived in Isalia, I would want to live in Genus' house. Should be some ingredients here. And of course he wants to make sandwiches. Yeah, Lloyd. Cooking's the most cooking is the power that binds the universe together. It's true though we can't use healing arts. Apple gels aren't cheap. I just bought two orange gels for four hundred gal. That's a pretty heavy price. We're gonna do the explanation on cooking anyway, just because I don't know if I explained it right enough in the last episode. You can cook if you have recipes. Cooking uses a combination of ingredients that are required, and then additional ones which will do more stuff. Uh, each according to each character's personal taste, so different characters will like different um, additional ingredients. Uh, and only have the basic effect. See, associated value for that character's skill level. Those are the stars that we saw next to their character picture. Um, so when you cook more, the skill level increases, and the dishes become better at what they do. And um, yes, the additional ingredients make it better. And you can press X when you're done with a battle, or you can cook from the menu screen. So we get some sandwich ingredients, it's always nice. Which is really just bread, right? Or did we get beef? Yeah, we got beef and greens. So that'll let us make a more powerful sandwich. A super power sandwich, if you might want to say something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. Do something about this thing. Your pet. Oh, this is a good part. How many times have we told you not to enter the village? <laughs> I, mean, I wanted to ask Lloyd a question. What is it? There's a human ranch. In yellow. Highlighted in yellow. Someone ran a highlighter across the script in the when they were writing this game, and then the person who translated it into the actual game just thought it was supposed to be yellow, and so he made those two things that. Of course we have been playing at the ranch. Genius does not seem so sure, though. Weird animal. <laughs> Noish is a dog. Noish is Lloyd's pet, by the way, is that green and white thing down there. Who does not look anything like a dog, but Lloyd is a trustworthy person, so, you know, we're gonna believe him that Noish is a dog. Um, Noish will be an important character all throughout the game. Um, and he's just, he's a pretty cool pet. Like, if I were to have a pet in this game, that's probably what I would want it to be. Like, a big-eared bunny dog. That's green. Green is my favorite color. I like green. Alright, so let's go to the field. Uh, we're finally going to get to see some new areas. We Because now we're on the other side of Isalia. There's a whole big world out there that we're not going to go to. Instead, we're going to go to the forest. Uh, this might be voice acted. No, it's not. What are you whining about, bud? Oh, uh, Noish doesn't like the forest, apparently. He's afraid of monsters. <laughs> Even though, yeah, there are hardly any monsters bigger than he is. He does not look like much of a fighter, though. And for that, he runs away. <laughs> and Lloyd's just like, go do whatever you want, I don't care. It's not like you're my pet or anything, I'm not responsible for you. Now Lloyd and Genus kind of a pleasant stroll through the woods, and we've got new enemies here that I just avoided swiftly and skillfully. We're gonna fight a couple because I think there are items around here. Yeah, I accidentally just got into an encounter with a little worm enemy. Uh, that wasp is new, Killer Bee. We're gonna take out the spider first. I guess I suppose I could do a little bit of battling here. Maybe get try to get a couple new techs. I'm not sure exactly what levels Lloyd and Genus will get their next ones. Um, but I mean, Kratos is a level higher anyway. I guess I just spoiled that we'll be meeting up with him again. But you guys could have probably predicted that. So, uh, why not? We'll do a little bit of grinding. Uh, yeah. Let's fight this little... This guy look, kind of looks like a wombat or something. I don't know what's up with him. 
see if we can change it up a little bit outside the norm. Oop. Yeah, I dodged you. I've been playing. I played a lot of Tales of Vesperia today too, so I'm surprised I'm pressing all the right buttons here. And why not? We'll just fight this plant guy. There was a skit there, but I didn't activate it. These are mini coids, uh, little mushroom guys. Kind of reminds me of um, uh, Fungus from Generation Five Pokemon, uh, which is really cool, by the way. I haven't really talked about that in my video. You guys know what a fan I am of that series, though. Uh, I've already beaten that game, though. I quite enjoyed it. I would recommend it to anyone who's a fan. Genus is friend. Let's do it. Which is friend we're gonna see? Is giving your school lunches too? Which apparently happened, cause because characters are introducing things that we didn't see to us? Hiding food in your school bag, Genus, you naughty man. You naughty little man boy. Fuzzy little man peach. It's really cool, nice that you have to share what little food we have. And <laughs> I'm sure that dog is really thankful. <laughs> oh, well. That's strange. Why would you be feeding a human? Keeping a pet dog in secret. Rain does not seem like the sort of person who would tolerate animals in the house, so I could see why Lloyd might think that. And then Genus is running off to the left here. Here's his stop. Uh, at the ranch, which is not a good idea, but... Tyne's already attacked it. That is a good point, but... I always say... Stick to your... I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, it's not... I don't think it's a good idea for Genus to be going there. And Lloyd does not either. Uh, but we're going to step on the save circle. Why not save our game? Uh, let's put it here. Just because I don't want to mess up or something. And then... Did, did we, were we going to go this way? I think we were. Yeah, this is where the next thing happens. I always forget about this part, kind of, because... For some reason, I kind of just associate there's the beginning of the game and then there's the first seal. And I always sort of forget about this whole part, which is... Which is weird, because it's actually really important. <laughs> and that looks like a exactly what you would think a human ranch would look like. And it does not look fun. Mm, there's a elderly person there. Looks like an old lady. Marvel. Oh, this must be Genius' Genus's friend. Is that your friend? Yeah. I'm, I'm Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> you know my name by now. I am pleased to meet you. Marvel, did you see it? There was an oracle. Yes, I did. I saw the Tower of Salvation. Now the Chosen's journey of regeneration can finally begin. Confetti! Woo! I hope it is successful this time. So this sort of, kind of, um, shows you that there have been Chosens that have failed before. The last Chosen right. failed. Or Lloyd could just say exactly what I just spent like 30 seconds telling you about. Yes, I heard the Chosen was killed by Designs during the journey. <sighs> the Designs are just messing everything up. I wonder if Colette will be alright. Let us pray to Martel. May she guide the Chosen on a safe journey. Huh? Hey, uh, Grant. <laughs> Her name's Marble. <laughs> Rude Lloyd. Call me Rude Lloyd Lloyd. Marble, isn't that an X-Sphere? Oh. Is that what this is called? They placed it on me shortly after I came here. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely an X-Sphere, but there's no key crest. So on this it. is some important stuff too. An X-Sphere without a key crest is dangerous. What's a key crest? And how is it dangerous? Yeah, Lloyd, enlighten us. You seem to already be brimming with intelligence. Attaching an X-Sphere directly to your skin supposedly makes you. But sick. it seems as though he knows a little bit more about this subject. But ironically. It's useless unless you attach it directly onto the skin. So? So, in order to prevent it from making you sick, you carve a spell into a special ore and use that as a mount for the x -fear. That's the key crest. Oh. You're very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. I'm proud of you, Lloyd. But it looks like Marble's x doesn't have a mount at all. Hmm. Nope. Doesn't look like it. If the charm was the only thing needed, I could carve one myself, but... There's nothing I can do without the inhibitor ore that acts as the mount. These are all very important phrases. There has to be something you can do, Lloyd. It's not as easy as you think. 
Key crests are dwarven technology. Hmm. Your dad's a dwarf. Please ask him for help. Lord. What? I mean, I know all the characters in this game are supposed to be like chibi-ish, but uh, I don't see how Lloyd's dad's a dwarf. I mean, he seems of average height. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not help Genus's Fine. friend out? Fine. I'll ask she seems like a nice old lady. I have a soft spot for like elderly ladies. Like if if walking them across the street was actually a thing and not just something that happens in cartoons and movies, I would so do that. All right. That's why I like you. Yeah, Lloyd's a great guy. Please don't trouble yourself. Hey, old hag. What the hell you doing uh -oh. there? You boys better run. Oh no. The desires. Run away to hurry. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Bye, Marble. Don't worry. It's nice meeting you. I'm sorry, Marble. What are you doing over here? Who said you could slack off? Get oh, don't work. hurt her. Don't hurt her, please. What's with that look, huh? <laughs> Looks like no, no, don't do it. Problem. No, of course not. I... Shut up! You two, take her to the back. We're gonna give her a little lesson on respect. <sighs> I feel bad now. Yeah! This part always makes me feel bad. Like it just does. Like, no matter how many times I played this game, which is a lot. This doesn't look good. They're taking her to the back. But what can we do? There's got to be something we can do. Th Let's must. find higher ground where we can see what's going on in there. Luckily, we are going to do something about it. So I like to think that nothing ever happens to Marble here. It looks like we can go up and from And she just remains okay. What's the action button? <laughs> I don't know where that came out, but what's, what is it? Let's ask. Information displayed on the lower right shows the action the player may take. So if you walk up to a ledge or something and you see jump, you can press A and you can jump up it. Um, therefore, I'm making this the action button. Uh, we're going to get this chest first, because it's not like we've got a friend in danger or something. Another orange gel. Those are always good to have. Alright, so let's see what we can do from up here. Oh! It looks like it hurts so much. I mean, the graphics don't look that great, but... Jeez. Like, I don't remember this happening. <laughs> Has it really been this long since I played this game? Guys, what help! Now? Guys, help! You attack the designs from here with magic. What? Aren't we gonna get in trouble? It's worth it. We don't have a choice. Afterwards, hide among the bushes and make your way back to the village. I'll act as the decoy. But that'll put you in danger! Don't worry. I'll head down the cliff so they don't see my face. Then I'll run in hmm. the opposite direction from the Looks village. Like Lloyd's got everything figured out. Okay. It's a pretty smart plan, actually. You should replenish your energy before we do this. I've got some leftover cookies from the ones I gave to Colette. Here, have some. All right, that's good. Seems as though we may be getting in some battles then. What the and I don't know how Genus casted Fireball that quickly because he can never do it that quick in battle. Open the main gate. <laughs> Open the main gate! Are you alright, Marble? Luckily, uh, Beard Man over here has got the Quickly, got the answer, way. and his his identical twin, other Beard Man. Genus, Lloyd, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Marble. You deserve it. Oh. That's no good. Uh oh. Come on, Genus. You ruined the plan. Alright, let's get into battle with some designs. Whip, two Whipmasters. And we got just Lloyd here, so we gotta be extra careful. Uh, so guard, guard a plenty. Ooh. Yeah, I, think, I thought we were out of range of that guy, and I was right. See so if we can just wail on this guy. Get him out of here. Yeah. That was just up. Only 12, .12 grade? That's not much at all. Thought we did a little better, but it did take a long time. So why don't I just use your super jump legs to jump off that cliff? I mean, I guess the X-Sphere makes him more physically able to do things like that, but it still seems kind of far-fetched. Luckily, though, it looks as though Lloyd has gotten away. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. They did see his face, though. Come on, genus. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But... I 
took out the ones that saw my face, and the rest of them are still back up on the. <laughs> I'm the main character. As long as we hurry up and get out of here, they'll never know. Oh, okay. Just do my homework <laughs> for me, okay? Okay. All right then. I'm gonna head on home. You should head back to the village. Lloyd, thanks for helping Marble. Hey, that's what friends are for. Yeah, right? best friends forever. Lloyd and Genus, the two guys. <gasps> what? Who is that? Analyze the data from the gate surveillance. Is that Samus? <laughs> Certainly has an arm cannon like Samus. Yes, sir. But it sounded like a guy. How did a mere human make that kind of jump? That's what I was just wondering, mysterious teal haired figure. You got Genus's stuff. And I'm sorry this video ran so long. Like that cutscene, I didn't know it was gonna take that long. I forgot about the well I knew you had to fight some designs, but I forgot about the whole like part after and the stuff with Noish and I apologize for another very long video. Um, we're going to save here, though, since everything seemed to have gone all right. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next um, episode. Uh, so until then, I've been Snackadec8, and uh, uh, so I'll just see you next time. Later!